What's going on? Welcome to the video. Today I'm talking about Chipotle for weight loss. I'm going to cover a few things in this video. Number one, I'm going to talk about why Chipotle can be a good go-to place if you're trying to eat out and you have goals of losing weight. Number two, I'm going to cover a few good options of what you can get at Chipotle. And number three, I'm going to walk you through the nutrition calculator and go over exactly how to use it. And if you end up liking the video or getting some value from it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I make new videos just like this every single week. So the truth is that when you order from Chipotle, you could easily choose a meal that is beneficial for weight loss, and you could just as easily choose a meal that is really terrible for the goals of losing weight. So make sure you watch the whole video so that you know which path to go down and what to look out for in these meals that can make it a really good option for you or maybe a not so good option. Now, the main reason why I love Chipotle as a go-to option in a fat loss phase if you're eating out is because they have a nutrition calculator online. So what this allows you to do is build your exact meal with the toppings and the foods that you get in your order, and it tells you the exact macros and nutrition facts of the meal you've ordered so you don't have to estimate it. And for me, as someone who tracks my food, this makes being able to eat out and still see fat loss results much easier. Because if you're someone who's also tracking your calories or your macros, one thing that may limit your results is if you have to estimate the macros or the calories of meals that you're eating like multiple times a week, right? So for me, if I'm in a phase where I wanna see the best possible results in my fitness or my physique, I try to limit meals out in general to maybe one or two meals per week. So now let me take you through the nutrition calculator and show you a good meal option from Chipotle that might be beneficial for you in a fat loss phase. All right, so what you see here in front of me is the nutrition calculator for Chipotle. And what I'm gonna do is build out a meal that I will commonly eat in a fat loss phase. Not saying you have to get this exact meal every single time and you have to choose the exact toppings that I choose, but I'm gonna walk you through my thought process on why I'm selecting certain toppings, why I'm leaving other toppings out. And I'm gonna walk you through how to use the uh, nutrition calculator so that ultimately you can build your own meals going forward and make educated decisions on what type of toppings and meals you wanna get for yourself. So in a fat loss phase, almost every time I will go with a burrito bowl rather than a full burrito or rather than even a lifestyle bowl or a quesadilla or taco or salad or any of these other options. I find that the burrito bowl is generally the most calorie friendly. And I'm going to walk you through why that is. So here you, they give you the option of meats and it gives you the macros, proteins, carbs, and fats for each option. So I'm going to go with the chicken. I almost always go with the chicken because it's the most amount of protein for, you know, the, the least amount of fat generally. Uh, you can even double up and go double chicken if you want to get uh, 64 grams of, of protein from that. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to go with one serving. I always go with white rice myself, about 210 calories, exactly the same as brown rice. Beans, I personally skip the beans just because I'm not a big fan of beans myself. If you want to go with one of these options, that's totally fine too. The macros on beans are, you know, relatively fair. They're mostly carbs. You get a little bit of protein in there. You're going to get some fiber as well, but I'm going to skip just because I'm not a huge fan of beans myself. Next up. So guacamole. So I always pass on guacamole just because it's probably the most calorie dense topping on here, right? Two, uh, 230 calories just for one topping. Uh, not something that I, I personally like to choose in a fat loss phase. Next, we have the fresh tomato salsa. So I'll go with that because it's pretty much barely any calories at all. I like to go with the corn salsa as well. And let's see, sour cream. Once in a while, I'll add on sour cream if I'm really feeling it. But uh, depends on how aggressively I'm going towards my goals. And if I really feel like I need to save that 110 calories or not for now, I'm going to leave them out. I'm going to select the fajita veggies. Usually what I'll do is this, I'll either select sour cream or cheese, but I generally won't go with both. So in this case, I'm going to go with cheese. 
I always go with lettuce and I usually leave out the queso as well. Okay. So that is my burrito bowl. It's that simple. And as you can see, it tells you exactly, you know, what the nutrition info is. So this bowl is 630 calories. Not that bad, right? That's a, a good, decent meal in a fat loss phase. That's going to keep you full, going to taste good. You're getting in plenty of protein. You've got 46 grams of protein right there. That's a, a solid meal. And it's relatively calorie friendly. If you were to eat a, a meal much smaller than that, you may not uh, feel as satiated and as full for as long, right? An hour or two later, you may feel hungry again, right? So this is a nice, happy medium of having a meal that's, you know, calorie friendly, but also going to be enough and have enough protein to keep you full for probably several hours, okay? So that's an example of a meal I will order in a fat loss phase. Now, what I wanna do, I'll just show you, if I was to get double chicken, now this turns into 810 calories, so it's a little bit more, but that being said, I'm getting a lot more protein, 78 grams of protein, and again, this is gonna be a meal that will keep you full for a good amount of time, so, uh, depending on how much protein you may need in, in your meal and, and in the rest of your day, you may want to decide to get double chicken, even in a fat loss phase where you're trying to lose weight. Now I'm going to switch this back to normal and I'm going to quickly show you how this burrito bowl could turn into a, a meal. That's not that great for fat loss and could really make it difficult to fit into your daily calories. Let's say I chose, um, some beans as well right? So I threw the beans in there. Let's say I put the guacamole in there. Let's say most people seems like they get guacamole. So you're going to add some guacamole on there and we'll add the sour cream as well. So we're getting a little bit of everything. I'll leave the queso out. So we, not exactly everything, but we're opting in for, for many of these toppings. Okay. Same exact meal. All of a sudden we're looking at a, a 1100 calories, right? For basically the same amount of protein, 58 grams of protein, you basically doubled the amount of fat, right? So all of a sudden, a meal that's about 600 calories that you can probably easily fit into any calorie deficit, whether you're eating 1500 calories a day or 1800 calories a day or 2200 calories a day, you can fit a 600 calorie meal into your day. Not everyone can fit an 1100 calorie meal, right? If you're eating 1500 calories for the day, this is the most of your food for the day, right? Even if you're eating 2000 calories, this is more than half of your food for the day. So that's just an example of choosing toppings wisely and choosing the ones that are really your favorites so that you get to enjoy a nice burrito bowl without going overboard and while easily being able to fit it into your daily calories. So um, that is how I use the nutrition calculator. And, you know, you can choose other options here and, and see how calorie friendly you can make them work. You can choose a burrito. That's fine. I'm not saying you can't do that. The thing is the uh, tortilla itself is 320 calories where the bowl is no calories, right? So if you're getting the tortilla and I'm going to choose the same toppings I chose just to show you an example, white rice, I'm going to go with all the same ones I originally chose. No beans, tomato salsa, corn salsa, fajita veggies, cheese, and lettuce. And the same exact toppings turns into 950 calories, right? So you're, you know, basically that difference is that 320 difference from the tortilla. Okay. So that's why, you know, and, and it's mainly in carbs, right? That, that are being added. So that's how the same exact foods can be more calorie friendly in the bowl as compared to in the burrito. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. Um, and you know, I've got a couple final thoughts here that I'm going to share with you to make sure that you know exactly what you're looking for when you order a Chipotle, uh, with the goals of losing weight. So that is how you use the nutrition calculator at Chipotle. And let me be very, very clear. You can eat any food you want and you can get any meal you want to get, and you can still successfully lose body fat as long as you account for it in your daily calories and leave room for it, and you're successfully in a calorie deficit. Seriously, if you wanna make room in your daily calories for guac or cheese or bread or uh, cake or ice cream or any individual food, cheesecake, you can do that and still successfully lose body fat. 
But in general, when you're in a fat loss phase, it's going to be in your best interest if most of the time you're eating good quality meals that have some lean proteins, some vegetables, some fruit, some sort of grains, and that's going to allow you to not only lose body fat, but feel your best, feel optimally, feel satiated while you're losing weight. And that's why you see me saving a few hundred calories by not choosing sour cream or guac or queso in my burrito bowl because saving that little bit of food may actually allow me to eat a smaller meal later on in the day and be more satiated from that, right? Maybe having an omelet or some sort of sandwich or something later on in exchange for all those higher calorie toppings. So although I just gave you a good option for a burrito bowl to have at Chipotle, that doesn't mean that you can't put together your own meal that fits into your daily calories and have that in a fat loss phase. So I invite you to get comfortable using the nutrition calculator, learn how to get tacos or how to get a burrito or a salad uh, that fits within your daily uh, calorie intake for the day. But that's gonna wrap up this video. I really hope it was helpful. And if it was, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna release new videos just like this every single week. And I'll see you on the next video.